Thank you so much, Henry. Well, this week, the WTAP Cares Food Drive for Kids is making a return. All the same locations, local businesses and organizations will be accepting donations of food from the community. I'm here with representatives from one of those locations, Grog's Home Services. Justin Layfield is the general manager at Grog's and Jessica Rockhold is the operations manager. They're going to be talking a little bit about the food drive. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Of course. And so the very first thing I want to ask you guys is, you know, for you guys, what is this, why does this food drive mean so much to you? What makes it so important? We love to get involved with the community and giving back to the community is something that we've always been very passionate about. So we've really enjoyed being able to partner and help with this food drive. Definitely, definitely. And so how much food was dropped off for you guys during the last food drive? Uh, the last food drive, we actually yeah. were able to collect quite a bit. Yeah. Um, we pretty much filled up a box and then we had a, another box on the side. So um, it was very, very uh, good for us. So. And I know that we're hoping for an even better turnout this time, everybody, so make sure you're paying attention out there. And so what kind of food items can people bring if they're sitting at home and they're wondering, what should I go and get? What should I bring? Sure. Um, juice boxes, mm -hmm. um, pudding cups, jello cups, the macaroni and cheese that's microwavable, yeah. um, all of those non-perishable items that are really easy for kids to open and make on their own. Definitely. I know that we always talk about how sometimes the kids have to do it themselves. Yes. So something that they can easily kind of maneuver around is a good option, as always. And uh, where and when can people drop off their food? So you can drop off the food uh, at our location mm -hmm. Thursday, uh, mm -hmm. June 6th, uh, 5349 DuPont Road. Uh, it's the Grog's office. Um, yeah. We take donations anytime. It doesn't have to be on Thursday. So. Right. And I know that that goes for a lot of our other sponsor locations as well. Their food box or donation bin is always there. Um, so if you guys can't get to it on that day, don't worry. You can drop it off before or after. And my other question is, what does being involved with this food drive mean to you? I know we talked about why it's important, but what does it mean to you to be able to help out our community in this way? I just think to me, it's something very special because kids, I mean, that's our future and it's just being kind and passing on kindness. So I just love that. And I did want to give a shout out to Karen at the um, Guy on Village Piggly yeah. Wiggly. They actually let us set up a table and we had a little food drive a couple weekends ago and we did really, really well there. So we have um, eight full banana boxes already from just wow. that food drive to donate. So yes. it's really, really nice. So. Thank you to her. That's amazing. <laughs> we appreciate that. Well, thank you guys so much yes. for coming on and sharing about this. We really appreciate yes. it. Thanks for having us. And we're going to have all the information for the food drive in our online article, including all the other sponsor locations, their addresses, and some other examples of food items that you guys can bring but when we come back Henry Groff's gonna have another look at that forecast.